think in a lot of ways we're way behind. And before we can even talk about movement quality and, and training, I think we need to agree on an outcome. And I think that a surprisingly high number of coaches and players can't even agree on what a good batted ball is, despite irrefutable evidence. So for me, it's like we're so far behind that we can't even agree on what a good outcome is in training or in a game. So the first question is, okay, here's all this information. How do we actually use it? And the knee-jerk reaction by a lot of guys in baseball is, I've been doing this my whole life without it. I obviously don't need it. But the truth is, it's extremely powerful and it's helping coaches help their players at various levels. And the best in the game are doing it really, really well. And honestly, it's something that is going to be just the gold standard, or just gonna be standard in the near future. So that's kind of where we're at now in the early stages in hitting, where we have to convince coaches and players that this stuff matters. And one thing we do with all the technology is we collect all this information so that we're not leaving any stones unturned. At the end, we can look at the batter ball profile, right? I can look at how you hit the ball to your pull side. Then we can look at your kinematics. How is your body sequencing? How fast are you moving? What's the speed gain between segments? And then we can tie that in with the strength assessment. How do you move, right? Where are your mobility restrictions? Are you stable? Are you able to coordinate rotationally with velocity, right? All these things all work together to answer the problem. So we don't have to guess anymore because hitters are infinitely frustrated by the fact that when they go hit with a coach, they might get A, B, and C swing flaw, right? They say, okay, here are things that are wrong. They go hit with another coach. It's like, okay, these things are wrong. But as a hitter, it can be frustrating because you talk to a, a 23 year old pro, they've had like 10, 12 hitting coaches in their life, right? What we can provide is when we give our ideas and we say, I think your bat path is this, or I think that you're not doing this well, I can literally point them to the data and say, this is exactly what's happening. And it's also for them, it's like some clarity in an area where it's just been gray their whole life. It's always just been, here's my opinion from a coach. And if we can actually say, this is where you are, and more importantly, this is where you need to be, now let's start to build towards that. I don't know why Mark said. It's gonna become a situation where if you don't understand this stuff and you don't know the language and you don't know how to analyze this data or collect this data, you're simply just not gonna be able to be a hitting coach. As we continue to measure more stuff and we start to get objective in our analysis of hitting in general, we can start to actually push everything forward when we just kind of raise the bar as to what we accept. Thank you.